I work for Microsoft, and I'm going to talk to you today about an accessible documentation workshop that I recently ran at the Write the Docs conference. Write the Docs is a conference that is all about documentation. Um, it's modeled after open source events. And this year, the conference was online only due to COVID-19, and it was held in August of 2020. The conference starts with a one day workshop, which is called Writing Day. And Writing Day is modeled after the sprints that are held at open source conferences. Um, this is where people can bring projects that they want help with and attendees choose which project they want to work on. Uh, so it's kind of a crowdsourcing opportunity. And we decided this year that we were going to bring a project um, for accessibility where we wanted to have people make updates uh, for terms that uh, don't apply for users who use screen readers. Um, so specifically, we were asking people to update, like for example, changing click to select or tap and hold. Uh, so the Microsoft Style Guide is the uh, authoritative source that we used for recommendations for the terms that we wanted people to use. So I'm going to show you some screenshots. Uh, one caveat is that this event took place in August of 2020. Uh, it's no longer open, so I'm showing this as an example just to show how you might go about setting up your own uh, accessibility documentation workshop. So um, if you run a workshop like this, you want to ensure that you have clear step-by-step -step guidance. So for the workshop that I did, and this is frequently the case, Participants come in with zero knowledge of our authoring setup. Uh, so to prepare for the project, I decided to use a GitHub issue. That's what this is a screenshot of. Uh, um, I just wrote this. It's a step by step. It tells you how, how you can contribute. And it's designed for people who, who have never used our setup before. Um, so you can see there's a link. It says describing interactions with UI. Um, that's a link to Microsoft Style Guide page that describes uh, what the recommended replacements are, what the terms are we want people to update. Uh, let me show you that. So describing interactions with UI, this is the, the Style Guide page right here. Um, and it has all kinds of recommendations. Um, the Style Guide is really great. It's a great resource. If you need um, to do a, a workshop like this, uh, it gives you the term and then it gives you suggested replacements for it. Uh, Style Guide also has this page, which is on bias free communication. Um, so it talks about using words like. Um, whitelist and blacklist um, and slave, which, you know, obviously are terms that, that are not recommended, um, but it talks about replacements like use allow list and block list um, or subordinate would be a one replacement for the word slave. So you, you get all that kind of uh, useful um, suggested replacements. I'll, I'll have a link to this in the resources slide of this deck. Um, this is the list of files. If I go back to my GitHub issue, um, step one says look at file names with click. That means file name, files that have the, the word click in them that we wanted people to update. Uh, so I made a list of these files across our documentation. Picked, I picked the most, the most viewed pages in our docs and then just sorted those alphabetically, uh, split them up into groups of 20 and then put them in a gist. A gist is a GIF, just a GitHub, just the way you can you can upload a file. Um, so I just uploaded it as a gist and then um, 
There's some basic info about using GitHub there. You can clone it locally or work in the browser. And then we, step six uh, is use the GitHub label. So people can open pull requests, they put a label on there and that enabled us to, to triage all the fixes later. Um, and it worked really well. We got like 40 pull requests that day. Um, so I would say this, this is a good way to run on a workshop if you need to do one. Um, so we had a step-by-step -step walkthrough, used the GitHub issue, stock guide was our main resource, and the list of pages that I just showed. So uh, just keep it short and sweet. Um, my recommendations for you, if you're running your own workshop, would be keep a tight focus. You know, when we had Click, we had a couple other terms that were for people who use screen readers. Um, but only a few terms, just make it make it easy for people and then give them the step-by-step -step instructions so they can get uh, contributing quickly. And then use the Microsoft Style Guide. It's a great resource. Uh, it's, it's frequently updated and it has, uh, you know, suggested replacements in context that will help you uh, figure out what you can do. So um, here are some resources. I will, uh, I'll provide a, a link to, uh, to this deck and to these, these resources. Um, my uh, Twitter handle is TEDHUDEK, it's T-E-D-H-U-D-E-K. Feel free to reach out to me there if you have any questions. And uh, I wish you luck with your accessibility project. I appreciate your, your listening to this video.